Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode here on Terminator Tuesday. This course vlog I'll be bringing to you is from Talking Stick Resort. And out there there's two golf courses both designed by the Core Crenshaw architecture firm. And I chose to play the North Course. If you're interested in seeing a lot more course logs like this, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's free to do, and you'll see a whole lot more golf just like this. Our journey begins here on the first hole. Under 400 yards means I'm not gonna be hitting a driver. Taking that two iron off the tee and out here in the desert, that thing's flying a long, long way. 121 yards leaves myself a nice gap wedge. I really wanted the golf ball to stay there because here you can see behind me, uh, this course has a very lengthy feel to it. A lot of very subtle slopes to it, especially around these greens. There's a decent amount of bunkering, but a whole lot of slopes that you got to be in the right location or you're just gonna have something that's absolutely slippery. I left that putt a little short, so I got this here for bar, and I was able to nail it. Nice part to start it out, and I'm facing a nice par five right here in front of me in the second hole. Now this is a par 70. This is the only par five that I'm gonna be facing here on the front nine. And as you can see, it is stick straight. Pinnacle Peak, as it's called. You see it way off there in the distance, just a little right to my ball trail. That Pinnacle Peak is the point that most of North Scottsdale golf courses trail away from as the whole valley comes down off of that slope. Here I took this four iron and absolutely nipped it perfectly. And you can see right in front of me on the lip of the bunker, if it flew one more foot, it would have been on the right half of the green. Splashing it out with my 64 degree wedge because it's a short sided bunker shot here. And I left myself a very makeable birdie putt. Birdies on par fives, it's where you have to feast. Yeah. God, man, that last foot, it just kept going. They just kept on going. Lots of break to these little greens. Got to really figure them out. Take your time over the putts. Sand Hills here is the most difficult hole on the front nine. And there's a bunch of bunkers off to the right and OB down the left-hand side. Sitting here at 450 yards, you got to give it all you got, but you got to squeeze it down there in between all that trouble. I was able to do so and left myself 142 yards. Now, I've been dealing with a lot of extra distance on my golf shots here out in the desert. And here, a 140 yards should be a pitching wedge. At least, that's how far it goes when I'm back home. I had played 18 holes the day before, and now I'm three holes in, and I have got to start realizing how far these shots are going. This chip shot was not easy at all. You can see the big slope behind the green, but you know what? I was able to hit it up there nice and tight. And after missing the birdie putt in the last hole, I did not want to drop a putt here. There we go. Now here we go, it's a really interesting par four here. Uh, carry the desert, okay. There's that bunker that splits the fairway and that's my target. I want to take it right over the tip of that bunker because I got enough distance to do so. Coming off playing Greyhawk yesterday, I was feeling very, very good over these tee shots and was absolutely able to stripe it with these big wide fairways in front of me. Oh, God, it's gotta go. Unfortunately, I have a tendency when I hit my wedges a little hard, they tend to go right on me. It's something I'm gonna have to figure out here. Oh boy, I caught that one a little bit heavy. Just was able to get it over the 
over the lip of the bunker there, and oh boy, left myself about 25 feet here for par. Let's just knock it close. No three putts, no double bogeys. you can just knock it right in there we go saves the par hey if if you haven't already please go ahead and click that subscribe button down below it's free to do i'll be bringing these golf vlogs to you all the time nine holes at a time and be happy to see you back here once again left is right gotta take it left of that little bitty bunker out there now, once again, this tee shot is under 400 yards, so I don't need a driver. Just gonna take a three wood, and there's plenty to clear the bunker. Took it right over the top of it, and left myself a nice, comfortable number here for my gap wedge. But I had this flag sitting right over the tip of that bunker. Oh, look at the cut. Oh, my God. Crap. Crap. What are you doing? Dude, like, like, get it straight. That's all you gotta do, right? You just gotta hit it straight. You can't hit it up on the lip of the bunkers and have them fly down into them all day. Deep left. Come on, deep. Was really able to catch that bunker shot really nicely. You heard that thump. I thought the green would slope it all the way down to the hole, but it took it nice and close. A little tap in par here. Oh, no. Oh. That was a hard lip out right there. A little bit too much speed. Oh man, the first bogey of the day is gonna drop me to one over par. And we're facing the first par three of the day. And boy, oh boy, at 223 to the center, this here was playing about 230 back to the flag. It was the first golf shot that I absolutely tried to trust the number out here in the desert with a little bit extra 225 yards is how far my five iron was flying out here. And there we go, right in the middle of the green. And I'm facing a beautiful birdie putt here from 20 feet. Ooh. One of these is gonna fall. One of them. Got that par putt to fall a couple holes ago. That was pretty cool. Now I got that par putt to fall as well. Nice two putt par. On to number seven and another par four. Now, the difficulty here in Coyote Trail is all down the right-hand side. There's a little dry riverbed, kind of like a dry barranca, and the, and the fairway slopes all the way over to the right as well. Now, I was playing very, very soft this morning. I teed off at 6.45, 7 a.m., and they overwatered the golf course because by the time that we finished, it was 110 degrees. I don't know how I just hit an eight iron 185 yards. You heard that right, eight iron, 185 yards. Left myself this birdie putt and named the game, no three putts from the long ones, leave it close. Look at that, everybody behind me is already walking away because they know I'm going to make this. Tap in par, and we're on to the next one. Short? Okay, I like short holes. A little wedge is all we need here on this par three. But as you see, we got another pin tucked right behind a bunker. I just played it right in between the bunkers, kind of what to what I saw as the fat of the green. Ball rolled back to the front. And here we go, I got another lengthy, lengthy birdie putt. Once again, no three putts. Thanks, hey, boys. You feel good? You yeah. had about three balls all here, about three feet away. I tapped mine in. Oh, there we go. There's mine. Good for another par. One more hole to go on the nine quail run. Now you see down there we got bunkers left and right, and it's a pretty skinny fairway. But the way I've been hitting this driver all day, no worries. Uh, 
another one smoked right down the middle and here we go 142 yards this is a standard pitching wedge back home so i had to take a little bit off here Played it a little right of the hole to the center of the green and had another little lengthy putt here for birdie. But this one here I thought was pretty makeable. Kind of thought I had the break and the read. That thing's just straight. I think it's just perfectly straight. I saw it going left. I did. I saw that going left. <laughs> Even you heard my playing partner in there. Did that break uphill? Well. That's the name of the game out here. You really got to hone in on these greens and be able to sink a lot of those putts. But I'm really staying consistent today, and we're only one over par through the front nine. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. I'll respond back. I like to have a little conversation with people. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you all again soon. Maybe next week for another Terminator Tuesday. Later.